Just taking a look at this new beige All Powers R600. So this is an all new color. They call this the, the most anticipated color. And they actually say down here, this is the latest color made in response to the expectations of All, all Powers fans. Now I'm get, kind of guessing, you know, taking a look at it, this color that this is probably like coming from the Japanese market. Uh, I can see this kind of being popular there. As they kind of show in this image here, this kind of looks like a Japanese kind of camping setup. But um, even if you're not interested or even digging this kind of beige color, <laughs> there are other change, other hardware changes to this unit, you know, in comparison to the, to the regular one, the, the black and silver one, that you might find interesting, right? So um, we'll kind of talk about that. And then just to kind of, you know, recap this unit, <laughs> you know, this is still, I think, the best, you know, small power station on the market. I mean, every single spec is just like top of the class. Now, um, you know, when this unit first came out, uh, you know, I was really excited about it. But unfortunately, um, some of the, the early reviews that came in were, were quite bad uh, with this unit. A lot of one star reviews. Now, you know, this being an all new model when it when it first came out was not too much of a surprise. Right. I mean, you, you kind of always want to wait to buy these things. Don't buy it when it first comes out right <laughs> kind of give it like six months or so so hopefully by now um you know a lot of the the, the problems have been kind of ironed out and uh and actually it seems like the the reviews have, have started to uh to recover there and i kind of just went through the reviews real quick some of the more recent reviews seem pretty positive positive. and then with this new beige model you know so almost everything is the same almost uh, um, so let's just kind of do like a quick overview just a recap of this, I'm not going to go into details with all these specs, you know, you can watch, I'll, I'll put a link to my original video if you want to, you know, dive deep into stuff, but yeah, let's just do a quick recap. Yes, we still get that same LFP battery, 299 watt hours, the inverter, 600 watts, so that, you know, that's, that's a pretty big number for a smaller power station. And we do get a UPS, and actually they're saying 10 milliseconds or less, so this is like, uh, you know, this, that's a good spec, right? I mean, that's kind of, if you want a UPS... You want to have one that works 10 milliseconds is kind of where you want to be and we do get you know really fast charging from the wall uh 400 watts in fact which is you know over a 1c rate so that'll be like one hour to full probably even less than that and then we do get kind of the the real thing that stands out in comparison to the the other models in this class like the the river 2 and the uh the eb3a the blue eddy eb3a is the solar is actually quite good on this unit as well not just the wattage but you know the, the voltage all right let's just talk about the big changes now that they made to this unit you know besides the color um so the big news here that you're probably most interested in is they did say that they made these the fans inside this unit quieter now that this was a kind of a big complaint with the with the other unit the black unit so yeah so we do get quieter fans and we still get those three options with the with the charging specifically the wall charging here you know these three different modes and it, basically each mode you know the faster it is the louder the fan would be this, these are the same modes in the black unit but you know I, i'm i'm assuming you know across the board it's just going to be quieter no matter which mode you're in right because of the those new quiet fans now the the black model did have the mute mode as well you know, so you could still get some quiet charging with that unit. But if you did anything else, you know, with the inverter or whatever, you know, if those fans had to come on, you know, it's just supposedly this unit is going to be quieter, right? So that's kind of the big thing. And then the solar here is actually different here. This is, it's actually downgraded, right? So you get quieter fans, maybe they don't move as much air. Um, we're actually down to 220 watts compared to uh, 300 watts. So the black unit could actually do up to 300 watts, which is, you know, incredible 1C rate in, in a small unit like this from solar. But um, still, the, the voltage and, and the amps and stuff is still the same input. It's still, it's, it's still using that XT60, and we still get that good voltage range, right? 12 to 60 volts, which will allow you to actually hook some panels up in series. This is something, again, the, the standard River 2 and the EB3A, they, they don't allow that, right? Uh, you kind of have to step up to the River 2 Max to kind of do that stuff. In this unit, you know, the, the, price, of, the price of this unit is competitive with the, with the smaller units, right? So, um, and then we do get actually up to 12 amps. So this is like, you know, by far, by far the best solar specs you're going to get in kind of like a $200, you know, around the $200 range. All right, let's just talk about the design here now, you know, especially since we got this all new colors. It's, it's actually amazing, you know, the difference we see here with just, you know, a color change. 
But, um, you know, when I first saw this beige color, I wasn't, um, I, I just wasn't really feeling it, to be honest. I was kind of surprised they didn't go with more of just, you know, a, a stark white like they did. Um, you know, as I mentioned, this unit is probably more, you know, aimed towards the Japanese market. And the, the original uh, river was actually available in whites. It was actually available here, I think, just on the, the home shopping networks. But it was like a mainstream th thing in Japan. And um, so I was kind of just kind of surprised that they didn't go with that, you know, more of a white color. But again, yeah, I guess, you know, this is all about trying to fit into your to your house. Right. Uh, and, you know, this is obviously it, it does. It does do <laughs> quite a good job at that as well. Right. I mean, it doesn't look so much like some kind of a, electronic device or <laughs> it doesn't look so much like a power station. Right. It's kind of the whole idea. So. Um, so, yeah, I can kind of see that that appeal. And, um, you know, the more I've kind of looked at this thing, the more I've kind of warmed up to, the, to this color, right? Um, and it's actually quite interesting as well that we get, you know, the, uh, the covers and stuff, basically everything. It's like, look at this. We get the, the, the rubber covers. And, in fact, um, there's actually, I don't know why they show this, these images without the, the covers on the AC ports. I guess they just want you to be able to see that there's two AC ports there. But there are actually covers for those as well. And, again, color matched. And what's interesting, too, is that in this image, you know, they actually show a color match cord. I wonder if, if you, that would be a nice design. That would be a nice detail if they actually include a color matched cord. And even the buttons here, you know, beige as well. So, you know, just good attention to the little details with this, with this new beige unit from All Powers. And then the screen, you know, I, I talked about this in the original R600 video. I was just so impressed with this screen because for a budget unit, this is a really nice screen. Like, not only do we just get a, a ton of information, but the, the layout and just, you know, the aesthetics of the screen, the contrast, the brightness, the colors, everything. You know, I was just, I was really surprised to see that. But the reason they've, they've done that is they just invested in this one screen and they're putting this screen on all of their models. You know, the higher end models, their flagship models like the R3500, R2500, right? So, yeah, there it is. That's the new beige R600. <laughs> Let me know. What do you guys think of this color? And do you think it's, it's worth it, you know, to get the quieter fans and then to give, give up some of that, that solar input, right? So, um, but yeah, I think, you know, still this is an incredible unit, especially for the price, all the features you get. And, uh, and you know what? Like I said, I'm kind of digging this beige color, <laughs> to be honest with you. And then as I mentioned, you know, hopefully they kind of ironed out some of those early issues that the, that the, the first models had. But, uh, but yeah, I, I still think, you know, for, for a small unit, this thing can't be beat as long as it's going to be reliable, right? But, uh, yeah, so hopefully you just kind of found this overview helpful or interesting. And, yeah, thanks for watching.